Cheers. Gonna be a little bit loud today upstairs. Taking my break just a little bit earlier than usual. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wait till lunchtime. I'll probably come back at lunchtime, but come on, get in there. I'll be back though. You're gonna have to take off early. Don't get a chance to hang out all the whole time. <clears throat> I'll be back again today, probably at twelve o'clock, give or take. If I have to take off, hey, my daughter. If I gotta leave early, I was just saying, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll be back if I have to run. But I'm gonna try to get a little pain in before I. We're just gonna doing a. It's almost like a watercolor, but using acrylics. It's a. Uh, on watercolor paper. Just putting thin layers on, just layer after layer. Just giving it the idea that there's stuff in the background. Like a bunch of hills and stuff. As you can see, it's almost it's almost clear. It's you can make it go away pretty quickly. Just a little soft. Not adding any paint yet. All I think I've used so far is strictly phthalo blue and a little bit of aquamarine. aquamarine. Just to change the tones. Hello, Chrissy. How are you? Oh, I that's we understand. Took me two to three hours to get my body back after they sucked all that blood out of me yesterday. It's enough to give you a headache, Well, It's like, ah, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. Here, have an orange. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so much help. Have some orange juice. Sonny, you're still sick. Oh, you gotta get better. Sorry, you're sick. Yeah, don't don't worry about me. Don't feel like you guys ever have to come here. You know, it's not what it's about. For me, it's, it's about sharing time with friends, you know, and, and if you're not feeling good, trust me, I don't want the germs. <laughs> I'm telling you, they can be transmitted by computer, I swear. If not, they'll figure out how someday, I bet. Okay, let's just, there is some white, I have a little bit of titanium white in with this blue. Just barely see it. Just 
It's ever so slight. Tis the season to have vampires. Take care. I'll see you soon. Take care of yourself first and foremost. Chrissy, I will talk to you soon anyway, I'm sure. You hear her in the background? Her playroom is right above my head. They are playing, I think they're playing with Daniel Tiger right now. So I wonder how long it's going to be before they drive all of the YouTube artists off the page. Yeah, you can hear her. She's upstairs. That's child, by the way. The other one is my wife. Well, okay, children. They both act the same age most of the time. That's what makes her a good nana. She will climb on the floor and they will play. Without a second thought about it. And I think she's not feeling good either. Actually, my wife, I think, is pretty sick. I swear, every time she gets new medication for the arthritis, she gets really, really sick afterwards. Sometimes it makes you wonder. Apparently the dollies are sick. <laughs> yeah. She's got to take shots, uh, injections, so it's, it's rough on her body anyway. She's not a very big person. I think when we got married, she was size two. Hey DJ, what's going on? I call you by your regular name, but I like saying that. Oh, I'm not worried about YouTube. I don't do anything. I mean, I'm not. I'm not in their crossfire. I'm. The only time they gave me a hard time was, I think, once. Um, it was because of a. I can't pay for that. I hurt. I, didn't, I tried, but. Uh, it was because there was some music playing in the background. And they dinged me for that. Uh, they talked to me about it anyway. Can't have public radio playing in the background, you know. You don't want people listening to classical music after all. You know. Oh, you should be in bed taking a nap. That's me now. All these sick people come in to visit me. Just gonna put a couple little trees right here. That's what this dark line was for. It wasn't a hill line really as much as it was a 
place for me to be able to put some paint because of the style I'm doing today. I don't know, I hope I'm... Sometimes it's hit or miss if I'm going to be here in 10 minutes. Oh, ping pong balls across my floor. You guys ought to have some interesting sounds in the my microphone today, that's for sure. Strangest little kid. She uh, she's given the option of having junk food if she wants it or whatever. No, olives, pickles, grapes. Things like that. Does not like Twinkies whatsoever. Which I think is just wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Seems like the uh, pick up paint, you're going to get sick. I think they're tainting it. I swear, sometimes it makes you wonder, doesn't it? Just a little bit tap right there. Don't don't rub too hard. Just don't forget you've already applied the water part with a little bit of a wash. So if you rub too hard on this paper, you will end up with big holes in your paper, or at least rough. You can do it pretty quickly if you uh, if you just get to it. You can go ahead and do that to it, but it's uh, just a couple little tiny something's right here. Bye, Chrissy. Take care. Good luck. Yep. Let's see, we got a front, we got way back, way, way, way back right here, a little bit farther, you know, a little bit closer, a little bit closer, much closer, getting closer to us. Um, now we'll go ahead and add some white, white and blue for our front here. This is just straight titanium, no water. We'll get the water in one second. Thing about doing this with these colors, though, is you've got to really pay attention to what water color you have. Because if you have had added brown ahead of time or something, or been playing with it and had some pink in there, you can end up with some pink snow, or some yellow snow, or... Now I'm just barely touching this. Pull that upward that way. Let's pull this one down on the side so we can get this one going down. A little bit of water. Then just wipe. See, it still leaves the down. But it kind of blends it all. And you see the titanium wet I laid down now that I've added a little water to my brush. It's now kind of kind of made a bright spot right here. Kind of a misty spot. 
So let's go ahead and darken up our foreground. Let's grab some titanium blue, a little bit of ultramarine. Let's put this down here. Grab a little bit of water. This is pretty much going to be a bluish painting. I'm going to put right here. And we should be hitting a white right about now, which we are. And right there. Like so. Okay, I see a little bit of blue spots in there, a little bit of white spots. Got our foreground. Uh, we got the little background right there. We got some basic stuff going. Um, what do you think? You guys want to run a. We're going to run a tree and probably a, a barn right about here. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not saying I'm going to. Maybe. We'll see how my hand feels. Tell you what, my shoulder blades are really angry about having to use this left hand all the time. Um, let's go ahead and add our black gray tree. Grab some black, get some water. We're gonna really put it in a thin, thin. All right, we've got Mars black, which has got some blue in it. We're gonna grab a touch of Elysian crimson. And a touch of phthalo blue. We're going to end up with this gray, purpley, maybe just a touch of white to thin it. Just, oops, it might have been a little bit too much, but that's all right. No, that's what I want right there. Yeah, that's what I want. So let's go ahead and add. A little bit shaky today. Let's go ahead and add this tree. Let's grab a little bit of white, just a touch. Notice I'm still have the same brush pretty much. Uh, let's go ahead and run this right here. Grab some of the blue gray. Touch of water, just a touch. Now, if you look at my paintbrush, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. There you go. You see some reds, some blues, some purples, some. Some of the black is in there. I don't want all that stuff off my paintbrush when I'm doing these trees because I want it all to transfer to this tree. A little th thicker on this side. Because I want to thicken the tree just a touch. I'll swap up to this other paintbrush real quick before that completely sets up. We want this part of this one to go this way. Get that little, little bit wetter, a little bit wetter. More of a geek. Guys, will have to bear with me there. Doing my best with this arm. And then this part is going this way. Like so. Well, 
Uh, just a tiny, tiny bit over here, because that seed needs to be just a hair bit bigger. Make sure when you do your trees to uh, kind of add some. You gotta make sure when you look at me, you know they're gonna stand up. I see some people doing trees, and it's like you have a 90 foot tall tree. You have a base as big as my as big as my. Uh, paintbrush you know it's not gonna happen you've got to have some type of anchor you know they don't necessarily have to get super fat at the top I mean at the bottom but if you look at most trees they and a flare just a tiny bit at the bottom. Some flare, like some of those giant ones that are like in Brazil and stuff, they flare massively at the bottom. I'm thinking this needs to be still bigger. There we go, that's what I wanted. Now we'll go ahead and take this little brush. You're back. We missed you. Chrissy left us. She said you left, so she figured she'd take off. God, I gotta stop starting stuff. Sorry, it's just me. My personality. Some people like it, some people hate it. Most people could care less if they like me or not. I'm way, way too old to change. At this point in my life, trust me. My wife would love it. I'd grow up. I'm working on it. Don't let it over it. Oh, back spasm. I was doing that just before I came on. Was we now? I was taking Ted out. We went from having huge snow to um, rain. Which is always nice. So now everything's a giant pile of icicles. Oh, I'm a little shaky today. I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to apologize anymore, but... Okay. Sorry. Listen to my granddaughter at the same time. Yeah. It's not dry here. Actually, we'd be surprised if we don't end up with flooding. You can't have as much snow as we had in, you know, four days, and then have the temperature go from 19 degrees, 16 degrees Fahrenheit to, uh, I think it's 41 right now. And we had gotten 18 inches of snow, so... Where I live, anyway. I live a little further up mountain than. People closer to the lake have less snow, I think, but. Till it freezes and then it's. We play musical chairs.
Oh, let's see if my wife needs me. Probably only be out of the for just a little bit longer. So I'm just putting some titanium white down here. As you know, I just just doing small, small, small layers. Just little layers. This tree is not going to stay like this. It uh, I'll probably one small branch off there. I really wanted a dead looking tree. Yes, we're going to deal with, if it's not today, it'll be, well, if not right now, maybe later at lunchtime. Um, we'll deal with all the shadowing under here. You know, we're assuming that this bright spot right here, it, let's just say it's uh Let's go with sunset, give or take. Maybe not sunset, maybe sunrise. Yeah, we'll go with sunrise because of the color. So, we think it's coming in here. So we know it's hitting the snow that's right there. It's going to hit this. The shadow's going to be basically, basically, let's see if I can do it. See if you guys can see that. See where that spot is and see where my... Basically going like that. So we're going to want to put our shadow basically facing this way a little bit. Easiest thing for me to do when I do it is take my paintbrushes and just tell myself with a shadow. See, I put a shadow right here. I tell myself what direction everything needs to be, you know. Yep. Yeah. All right. I uh, guess I'm not gonna make it to the end. <laughs> so this is where we're at. I'm gonna show you what I'm working on, just so you know. You have an idea of what I'm trying to do. Let me grab it. Oh. This is the original. I'm, uh, I don't know where to put it so you guys can see the whole thing. Over here? No, you're not going to be able to see. Let's see if I can get my arm up there. Ouch. Yeah, that's kind of sort of it. As you can see, it's it's kind of getting there. The tree's kind of like that. I added a little bit more here. Mountains are a little bit bigger here. Um, but that's where we're going to end up. This is on, this is just 90 pound watercolor paper, um, 89 pound actually I think, and it was just practicing this technique, uh, probably, let's see, 2017, two years ago, I haven't really touched them since then, so. That's where we're going to end up. It's okay, Madonna. You worked out because I actually have to leave myself. I just heard my wife call me. Um, you know, like I said, she's got that glass in her throat feeling and everybody else is getting sick. I'm not going to. It's not going to get me. But anyway, I'm sorry for having to cut you guys short. It's been a half hour. Uh, I should be back on between 11.30 and 12 because um, that's what time she goes down to nap so I will I will try to get more of this done we'll maybe work on some trees some more maybe we'll put a couple little watercolor type little thicker cloud maybe just some small ones in and then we'll figure out if we want a barn or if we want to go ahead and run a maybe a pond right here it's okay to change your pictures, you know, then we'll work on our shadows. But thank you guys. Um, might be a two or three parter, you know. I'm only painting as well as I can paint. And thank you very much for showing up and giving me a visit. And hopefully you guys stop back in a little bit.
I hope so, Lesbian. I hope it's beautiful. Um, it watercolor acrylic, basically, is what I call it. Um, it's kind of a challenge sometimes because if you mess up, the whole thing will go black. Everything will run out. You'll end up with all these really cool wavy lines. I mean, it's a good technique if you want to use it, but if you want to try to make everything look watercolorish, you got to really concentrate on how much water you put into how much paint. But I will catch you guys later. And as always, take care of yourself, please. Enjoy life. See you later.